I'm sorry, I'm so upset. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Um, so we're moving on to the true crime section of the reading. Um, I, I write a lot of poems about crime. <laughs> and so um, sometimes they blend into the family poems. But um, this one is one I wrote about um, an incident that happened at Hobart and William Smith Colleges in 2012, I think it was. And there was a wonderful article just a few years ago about this in the New York Times. Committee work. The football players, when accused of raping the drunk girl, said she had approached them, pulled their pants down, and sucked their penises into her mouth. One claimed he was unable to achieve an erection despite her efforts. Another felt inappropriate, zipped up, and walked out. One was seen behind her with his pants down but none could say whose fluids were found in her vagina or her underwear or her ass. The school had no interest in DNA. The committee closed the case, and the football players went on to an undefeated season, trampling team after team. They ran joyfully, faster than the opposition, faster even than all the drunk girls who rush to their knees, who bend over pool tables and couches, no longer content to just ask for it. No, those bitches reach out to take it. <laughs> 